Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have a brand new Acer Aspire 5 series laptop. It's an A515-43R6DE. That's the model. It features the AMD Ryzen 7 CPU with AMD uh, Vega 10 graphics. Uh, it's got a five. This one is shipped with a 512 gigabyte SSD and it has 16 gigabytes of DDR4. It has a full 1080p IPS display, anti-glare, nice looking display. Features a lighted keyboard, um, has a USB port over here on this side. And over on this side we got the standard ports. Headphone jack, USB port, USB port, um, HDMI port, RJ45 Ethernet port, and of course your power cord. So today I'm going to do some upgrading on this for the customer. We're, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to install additional hard drive storage, a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. Uh, we're going to upgrade the 512 gigabyte SSD to a one terabyte SSD. And we're going to double the RAM from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Now, the mounting kit for the mechanical hard drive is already inside the laptop on, on these models. It's all in there. There's some little mounting screws that they give you. And I'll show you how to install this stuff and do a nice little upgrade. Now, once I put that new SSD in here, um, I decided to do a clean install of Windows 10. I got my USB drive that I'm going to boot up to install Windows 10. Uh, you can watch some of my other videos on how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. We'll just boot off of the flash drive, do a clean install, get all the updates, and drivers, and that kind of stuff. But for now, I'm going to go ahead. First of all, I'm going to show you on the screen here real quick. We go to system. If you want to come in and let them see right here that it has the Ryzen 7 3700U processor. I think it runs at 2300 gigahertz or 2.3 gigahertz with turbo boost you can crank it up to around 4000 that's got 16 gigabytes of memory so i'm going to go ahead and shut it down and we're going to do some upgrading all right. all right guys so i shut down the laptop now i've already removed all the screws i didn't want to bore you with that uh, pretty straightforward You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, of course. I use a number zero Phillips. And you're going to want a couple of plastic spudger type tools to get the bottom pan off. I like this tool the best. So don't be using metal tools. You're going to leave tool marks and that's no fun. So on this model, right along the, the, the edge, all the way around, there's a little tiny seam. It's kind of tight and hard to get into. That's why this kind of tool works pretty good. So I'm going to start right over here. Got all the screws out. I'm just going to kind of gently work it. Sometimes along the front here it's a little tricky. And always remember you got a screen under here. Don't be squeezing and squishing down on your screen. So now that we've got it started, usually they come off without too much trouble. So I'm going to set that out of the way. Then I'm going to take my other little plastic tool here. First thing I want to do is I'm going to disconnect the battery, which is right here on the motherboard. It just slides back out. We'll just slide it out so we're going to be poking and prodding around here. We don't want to drop any tools or screws and ruin something. So I'm going to disconnect the battery. Be careful doing this. These little wires come out with that there. Got the battery disconnected. Now, I'm going to flip it open carefully here, and I'm just going to hit the power button a couple times to discharge it, just to make sure. So here's our 512 SSD right here. Uh, here's our empty memory slot. There's our 16 gig stick. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that 16 gigs in right now. So now we got 32 gigabytes of memory. And then over here is the mounting kit that Acer put right inside. Here's our 
SATA connector and there's a little cable underneath so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this little mounting bracket here and this there's four screws that hold this in best to use a magnetic screwdriver it makes it a little easier Here's our SATA connector that goes on the hard drive. You can put that on right now, actually, if you want. And then over here, we've got to flip this little arm up right here to put our cable in the little connector right there, which is underneath here. They kind of stick it on the, carefully remove it. Now, if you look really close on this cable, it is marked. This size says MB for motherboard. That size says HDD for hard disk drive. So that goes right on here. You just push it in right to the white line. And then snap it down just like that. Make sure it goes down firmly and that it's in all the way nice and even. You're good to go. And over here on the motherboard is where we're going to connect it. Right here in this little connector. So I'm going to flip that up, that little white lever right there, just like that. And this goes right in our little caddy here, so it's going to set in there just like that. And here's the four mounting screws they put inside the box to mount the hard drive on here. This part's pretty straightforward. Now my bench tops are all anti-static. I treat them once or twice a day with an industrial type anti-static coating. Never ever ever had a problem with that. So always keep in mind if you've got a wristband or something you can wear when you're doing this. Not a bad idea. Static electricity can do weird stuff. So just be careful. So now we got that mounted. So I'm going to set it right back in and you can see how it lines up over these little holes, these little pins right here. It only goes in one way, guys. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the motherboard right now. If you look, it goes in right up to the line there and then we're going to flip the little lever down just like that. Okay? Now we're going to put our four screws back in. So this laptop will have a total of two terabytes storage, one terabyte NVMe SSD and one terabyte of mechanical hard drive here. 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Give it some more little kick. I've seen some of these models come with just eight gigabytes of RAM, which is fine. You could add another 4 gig stick or a 16 but in this case the customer wanted to max it out with 32 gigabytes so now we have our mechanical drive in there I'm going to move over here and remove the actually the one from the factory is also a Western Digital NVMe drive I'm going to take that out it's got the factory windows on it but like I said guys I'm going to do a clean install then get all the updates maybe some drivers from Acer's website, so we're going to get rid of that. Put our one terabyte SSD in here carefully. And it only goes in one way. The mounting screw back in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it, guys. So we have 32 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, one terabyte SSD, and I have to reconnect the battery. It's pretty straightforward, but it's a little tight getting in there sometimes. Went right in. Just make sure it goes in all the way. Don't use metal tools on this stuff, guys, please.
So if we're good. All right, let's put the bottom cover back on. Everything looks good. Just gently go around the edges and work it back in. It'll click in nice. Just remember your screen. Don't be squeezing too hard on the lid because you've got a screen in there. So I can, I'll remember to put the screws back in when I'm all done. I'm going to go ahead and put my flash drive in to the USB port, turn it back on. I'm going to hit F12 here, F12 to get to the boot menu. Might take a minute for it to read that new memory, but that's okay. So here's our flash drive showing up as the only boot device because we got two brand new drives in there. So just hit enter. I'm going to choose Windows 10 64 bit. Just going to get you to the setup screen here. And then just walk it through the install. It's pretty straightforward. It will automatically activate. You don't have to worry about that. And then. You say get all your Windows updates. This is the newest version right now of Windows 10, the 1909 edition. And we're going to choose the United States. We're going to hit install now. So I'm going to get this going, get it all updated, and be a nice little upgrade for the customer. I appreciate you all watching. Remember to subscribe, and have a great day.